Hello, in this video we're going to interpret lambda from a Lagrangian cost minimization problem. Here's the firm's production function. It has constant returns to scale, the exponent sum the 1, and here is the total cost equation. W is the wage, R is the price of capital, L and K are units of labor and capital. The long run total cost function that would come from this production function would look like this. I'm not going to drive the, this result in this video, but long run total cost that would come from this production function takes on this functional form. To get the long run marginal cost function, we're going to take the derivative of the long run total cost function and you get the following. It's just going to be a constant. So if we let w equal 4 and r equal 4, I could have picked any values here. Uh, we get long run marginal costs going to be constant at $8. And this is because we have constant returns to scale. Firms want to minimize the cost of producing 100 units of output. So we're going to set up a Lagrangian here. We're going to minimize the total cost, 4L plus 4K, where the 4s represent the price of inputs. And subject to the constraint that we're going to produce 100 units of output. We're going to take three partial derivatives, the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to units of labor, set that result equal to zero. Partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to units of capital, K, set that result equal to zero. And finally, the partial derivative of the Lagrangian with respect to lambda, setting that result equal to zero. So from our first partial derivative result, I'm going to solve this equation here for lambda. So I'm going to solve for lambda. And moving some things around, we get lambda equals the following. And then from the second partial derivative result, I will also solve that for lambda. So moving some things around, we get the following. We're going to set lambda equal to lambda. So setting these two equations equal to one another and just simplifying. I'm just going to get L equals K. We can plug this into the third partial derivative result or the production function where Q equals 100. Solving for K, K equals 100. And since L equals K, L equals 100. So that is the optimal input mix to minimize the total cost of producing 100 units of output. And going back to lambda, if we were to evaluate lambda at this optimal input mix, you would get 8. Remember our long run marginal cost. Evaluated at the input prices, we got $8. So lambda is the marginal cost. Relaxing the constraint by one unit, producing one more unit of output, would increase the objective function, the total cost function, by $8. So lambda represents the marginal cost. All right, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.